of this short second video in this second video we shall look at the chart of accounts we shall look at the way to amend them so that they will correspond with what is in the case study this is the case study you can see these are the items that we find in the case study I have looked through them carefully and I have brought out some accounts that need to be amended such accounts include this we are going to make sure we edit the chart of account to include all of this that are here all these charts of account that are here needs to be imputed in the charts of account because if you look at the charts of account as we have it we will notice that most of those items are not here and there's no how we can be posting when the items are not here so we are going to amend the charts of account to do that we will go to the system and we click on chart of account and list account in this particular way we are going to be able to um, change the account because anyone we click we can change it and make it to be what we want the list is still here the first one that we have is the premises and the premises is the assets account the fixed asset account so we can go back to the chart of accounts in order to amend it we need to adjust it slightly let me use this when I click on this I can now edit this account but I will save it with a different number let me put five I can now put uh, premises premises but I'm going to save this as new so that you not delete the one that was there before and I'll say save as new if you look at it premises has been created here then if you look at the second item here is furniture and fitting though there is furniture and equipment here I want you to read furniture and fittings so I will leave it the way it is but I will change I'll put um, furniture and uh, fittings and leave it as it is and click on save you can see it has been updated here the next item we have is computers and scanners I want it to follow that one so let's say I will, I will just edit this account again I will put um, 3 and I will say computers and scanners haven't done that I will save it as new because I'm editing the account you can see it's coming up very beautifully then we take on the inventory inventory is already there we can pick any of this one so we don't need to create it again then we go to uh, receivables receivables is also there we don't need to uh, do anything then we need happy bank we need to create happy bank and I'll go to this 1060 and edit it instead of checking account I want to put a uh, uh, happy bank PLC and save this time I want it to delete the other one so I'll just save and it is there already then we now go to uh, petty cash which is there the next one that we need to look at is the capital account the capital account will go down here and uh, we have share capital I'm going to edit this one and call it a capital account capital account and save it I will save to delete the one that was there then I need to you can see that it has been updated here I need another one to put there usually I like to put this um, uh, account there return earnings and opening balance equity return earnings so if I click on this I'll just increase the number here 
I'll put it as a uh, uh, 60 I'll say opening balance equity and what is this account going to do this account is the account I will use to migrate my opening balances so I click save as new then there is another one I need to put where the rolling amounts on every year we go to I'll call it uh, return earnings let me edit this one again and once I click on this I'll, I'll save it with a higher number and I'll call it uh, returned returned earnings returned earnings I'll also save as new now is there any other item again that we need to any account yes we have discount received discount received go to my account charts of accounts here and I want to put it under other um, income other revenue so I click on this let me put it let me just increase it by five and I'll say discount received and I'll save as new I'll save as new then I'll go to the next one that we need to put in is the discounts allowed which is a loss to the business I'll come down here general and administrative expenses let me put it um, here I will now put it as a 18 and I'll put as discount discount allowed this can allowed and I'll save as new now is there any other one again I need we have tax which is the VAT we are told in the case uh, study that VAT is given at is charged at 5% VAT is charged at 5% and I'm going to amend this one to be 5%. I'll take one of the VAT that is here. Once I click on it, I will only adjust the um, percentage which is a uh, 5% and I will save it. Once I've saved it here, I don't want too many VATs here. So I'm going to delete some of the accounts that are VAT. I'm going to delete so that I'll, I'll know the one I'm using. Once I delete this ones here, I will have one which is that particular VAT it has been marked here for us then the next uh, uh, item that I need to put is the investment income investment income I can edit one of these accounts here and uh, uh, other income I'll put it under other income and I'll put I will change the account uh, number let me uh, edit this one and call it uh, investment uh, income and we save to delete that one and leave this one particularly there then we now check again to see that we have accountancy and audit because they pay the auditor so let's go to the charts of account again and amend if you see this one is accounting and legal I will change it to accountancy accountancy and audit accountancy and audit and I will save I don't want the previous one to be there it has updated and the next thing I need to put on is postage and stamp do we have postage and stamp here in our postage and stamp doesn't seem to have anything postage here and stamp so we need to create it to create the postage and stamp I can pick any of these ones here and just um, uh, increase it or I can just edit this one and put a uh, postage postage and uh, stamps sorry and 
and stamp and save then the next item I need to go ahead and edit are all these other ones that are left here the point I want to make is I have done the editing of the charts of accounts for you so you can be able to do the other one we shall continue in the next uh, video thank you